In this video, we're going to be exploring project configurations in MPLabX IDE. Project configurations enable you to do projects within projects, essentially, and you can have conditionally compiled code, a single code base to support multiple related products. For example, if you have a number of customers who each want their logo on an LCD, you could have their logo file and have that file associated to a particular project configuration. And that's the kind of thing that we're going to be doing in this video because we have a context of a data streamer project with a data visualizer. And so we're going to conditionally include visualize.c and .h depending on the project configuration. And essentially what we're going to see here is that all the decisions you made when you created a project, you get a choice per project configuration. For example, you're going to be able to choose a device. You'll be able to choose um, a compiler, a hardware tool, a part pack used for device support now in MPLAB X IDE. New packs are released for bug fixes or for new device support. And so you'll be able to update and check that your project works with new part pack through a new project configuration. It's also possible to change detailed aspects of the tool chain and compiler settings. Let's have a look. So in our project, we have this basic functionality of these three variables being graphed and on a plot that is a data streamer which is relies on visualize.c and .h and here we just have a basic function now what we'd like to do is we have a default configuration where we'd rather maybe just use a printf and the other one we want to use the data streamer so we're going to add a new project configuration and here you can see the device the compiler tool, etc. And what we're going to do is click on manage configurations. Now here, if we duplicate, we will have all the same settings as we currently have in our configuration, like the same device, etc. But if we add a configuration for visualize, then we will need to fill in our device, etc. So fill in the device. And applying with the tool chain with the compiler, we now have compiler options. Uh, what I want to do is under file inclusion, under the default configuration, I want to remove these two files, visualize.c and .h. And under the compiler option of the visualize, I want to add a, vis a visualize define. And that's the basic configuration that I need. So I'm in the default configuration. Note also that I can see the configuration in the project dashboard. And now data streamer as a function is underlined and it is unresolved. And that's because the visualize.c and .h files are removed from the project. And that is where this function resides. And that's where it's defined in visualize.h. So I can add here now if def and now I can have a printf instead and I'm going to do two things unsigned int and that's going to be the ADC value is so this is going to be my count value and I'm going to plus plus, so every time I call it, and then I'm going to have my ADC 10-bit value. Okay, so that's what's going to happen if I don't have visualize. And so you can see that the printf is active in the project, and if I go to the visualize functionality, we see we're generating make files. The make file has changed, and now that data streamer function is active again. So let's go back and we'll test this functionality. So the visualize.c and .h, they grayed out. They are in the project directory, so we don't get any build errors or anything like that because the files are not there. So they are effectively there, but they're deliberately left out.
So note how the data streamer variables are no longer giving us any data. So now we just display data. So here we have data on the visualizer and now we change this to ASCII. So now in the data visualizer you can see that we are getting line numbers and we are getting certain values there. Now if we just do one small thing which is to change the configuration you can see we're generating make files and so immediately now it's best to change to hex values we can see that we have raw data here which we can remove and um, put back our 8-bit value and yeah so essentially we have the ability to switch between what the different types of debugging so in this video we showed you the flexibility that can be achieved with conditionally compiling code and having multiple project configurations in a single project